All right, everybody, this is a tutorial on actually how to get your Ethereum onto the Polygon network. This is something that's becoming more and more mainstream these days where the higher transaction volume projects, they're going to do transactions on Polygon because the gas fees are so low. And so I wanted to go over this tutorial of a great website called Umbria. They have a fantastic bridge and it makes it so easy to use. And I'll have the link down below that you can use to actually go through the steps. But there's actually really three different steps. So you're gonna take your Ethereum that you have in your wallet. And if you don't have Ethereum yet, you can use my tutorial that I've done before that actually talks about how to actually get fiat, your local fiat and turn it into Ethereum. But for now, I'm assuming you have Ethereum and you're looking to take advantage of the Polygon network and a project that maybe you're trying to go after. Like one that I talk about on the channel is the Metabrew Society, right? So their quarterly allowances are in Polygon, on uh, the Polygon network, but their project is based on Ethereum. So you have to kind of be able to move back and forth with your funds. So this is going to actually show you how to do it. And it's quite simple, actually. So on this website, you want to make sure you're on the bridge tab here. And here you're going to say you're taking it from Ethereum and sending it to Polygon. So the actual page defaults this way. And on the link I'll leave down below defaults this way. I just want to make sure you have it set up this way. You're sending Ethereum onto Polygon. By doing this, you will then get wrapped Ethereum on the Polygon network. So you still have Ethereum. You're not changing the type of token you have. It's just changing what network it's on, which mainnet it's on. And in this case, we're taking it from Ethereum mainnet to Polygon mainnet, okay? So I have here 0.01 Ethereum that I wanna move. You gotta make sure that you have a little bit of money for gas as well, gas fees. Uh, right now, the GUI looks pretty low. It's uh, currently about 13 GUI, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, that's, that's good to see. And so I'm looking at trading 0.01 Ethereum and turning into wrapped Ethereum on Polygon. So from here, you'll go down to the bottom here and you'll make sure you want to send this to MetaMask. So at this point in time, you don't actually have to have Polygon on your MetaMask yet. We're going to go through that step at the end here, okay? So for now, we're just getting our wrapped Ethereum onto the Polygon mainnet, okay? So from here, I'm gonna click send through MetaMask. And you get a prompt up here. It says you are sending 0.01 Ethereum from Ethereum mainnet, and you're gonna get a little bit less than 0.01 Ethereum because of gas fees, of course. But um, I've noticed, I've done the test on this, and the difference in gas fees from 0.00003 Ethereum uh, up to the fastest speed possible, which is 0 0.00006 Ethereum, it's like nothing. We're talking like less than a dollar, okay? Really cheap to do this on the Umbria. They have done a fantastic job with this as well, this bridge. So I click send from here. I'll get a prompt in my MetaMask browser plugin. And here you're gonna see, I'm gonna pay about 33 cents in gas, okay? So I click confirm. So you wanna just be patient here. Uh, you're actually moving uh, uh, across the Ethereum network. So you have to wait for gas fees, uh, gas to actually move. You can click on view the transaction on Explorer, which will show you the actual status of it. So if I click on that, it takes me to Etherscan, which will show the actual transaction taking place. Um, if I click refresh here, so this looks like the network is congested just a little bit. So we just wanna be patient with the process. Normally it's pretty quick, okay? All right, well, there you have it. It did take a little bit of time uh, and just it just depends. So this is confirmed. It took about six minutes and 30 seconds. So again, it happens. Sometimes the network does get a little congested on Ethereum. The great news is when you go to Polygon, it's not that congested all the time. So you're going to be in good hands and the gas fees are really low. But here we go. Confirmed uh, it's 0.01 Ethereum and the gas fees were 0.33 cents, uh, uh, 33 cents, I'm sorry, for getting that sent over to the Polygon network as wrapped ethereum so here we go uh, it's now going to the second step which is bridge sending the funds on your wallet to the polygon network okay so you just got to be patient for this piece as well to happen okay well there you go the bridge sending the funds onto the polygon network has been completed uh, you can also click on that by going to polygon scan which is not etherscan this is the polygon scan similar to what ethereum ethereum is on etherscan Polygon scan is how you check your transaction on that network. And you can see here, wrapped Ethereum has been sent to my wallet and look at the get transaction fees. It doesn't even register. It's less than a penny. Uh, it's fantastic. So here we go. I got my 0.01 Ethereum on Polygon now. And you can see here, the final step 
is to connect to the Polygon network. So if you already have Polygon network on your MetaMask, you don't need to worry about this at all. Um, but if you don't, go ahead and click on connect to the Polygon network. And from here, it will actually prompt your MetaMask to add all the information you need for the Polygon network to do transactions on it. So I already have it on there. I'm not gonna click approve, but if you don't have it, click approve. And then you now will have the option in your MetaMask. If you go up to MetaMask in the different networks here, you click on that and you'll be able to scroll down here and you'll be able to go to the Polygon network, okay? And so if I go to the Polygon network, you'll see now, uh, I already have some Matic, which will show how to get Matic next is the next step. But uh, this is where you'll actually see your wrapped Ethereum. But look, it doesn't actually show here for me. You can either do one of two things. You can click on this transaction where it says bridge sending your funds to your wallet on the Polygon network. You can click on this and I'll show you how to do this where now, now you actually go in here and you can click on the wrapped Ethereum here. You click on this right here on your screen, your 0.01 Ethereum that's on Polygon. Click on that and you get on the screen on Polygon scan. Here is the contract here right at the top where it says profile summary. You want to click on this and there's a little copy address. You want to click on that and that is the contract address you want to add to your MetaMask browser, okay? So I'm going to go back to MetaMask and I'm going to import tokens here at the bottom. You're going to click on import tokens. Go to custom token. Control V or paste in here the contract. Wrapped Ethereum now shows by default and the number of decimals and you click add custom token. Here it is. There is my 0.018, it's 0.018 because I did this transaction earlier. So, but here I'll show you the transaction again. Uh, so if I click in here, uh, if I click on this wrapped Ethereum, yes. So there it is now showing in my wallet, the wallet that received the wrapped Ethereum. And, and that is also another way. Sometimes MetaMask has the ability down below where you can import it. I don't trust that. I go right to the actual Polygon scan in this case and go grab the contract itself and import it in manually. I just feel that's a safer way to do it. You see the coin going into your MetaMask uh, wallet. You see it going in there. Grab exactly that transaction as well. So here's the other thing too, is I can actually grab my wallet here, click on that, copy that wallet in MetaMask, and I can go up here to the top, right? And I can search my actual address on Polygon Scan. And within here, I can now go down and see the transaction that took place. And that's the ERC20 transactions. You're gonna click on this here. And there you can see, that's why it was more than 0.01. It's because I've done this twice. I did a test before the video. <laughs> but here you can see, this is the transaction I just finished three minutes ago, sitting here, the wrapped Ethereum that was received. Again, this is the same transaction that Umbria had shown uh, on there that you clicked and went to Polygon Scan. But here it is again, all on the wallet shown here clearly. So folks, that is how you get it there. The last step I wanna show you is how to buy Matic now. You now have wrapped Ethereum on the Polygon network. The next and final site that I wanna show you all is you go to QuickSwap. This is like those that are on um, BNB, it's the uh, pancake swap. Uh, this is the pancake swap equivalent of uh, Polygon, which is QuickSwap. And from QuickSwap, uh, you'll be defaulted to Matic. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch this up. So now I want to receive Matic. So you guys remember that we grabbed the wrapped Ethereum contract here by clicking on this and then clicking on this contract, importing it into our MetaMask wallet. Well, while it's still on your clipboard, when we go to QuickSwap, this is where you're going to actually click on select token and you're going to paste it in here at the top. And you're gonna see it's gonna say, here is the Ethereum, okay? From there, I need to make sure I connect my wallet. From here, I'm gonna click MetaMask. I click the connect button at the top right, click MetaMask, and then I'm gonna select next, connect. And now you can see there's my balance, 0.01A2 wrapped Ethereum sitting on the Polygon network, and I'm gonna pick up some Matic now, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on five Matic. Um, since it's the first time I'm actually going to be swapping Ethereum with Matic, I need to approve it first, okay? So click on approve. You'll get a prompt in MetaMask. From here, you're gonna say, I confirm to give it permission. From there, there's not really any fees on Polygon. So just so you guys know, it's fantastic. Uh, so from there, I'm approving it. 
can see it here, it's processing. So wait for that to go through. You can see here down below, it's also saying approving. There's a little cog wheel that's spinning. Just wait for that to complete. And from here, I'm using the default slippage, which is like nothing because it's Polygon and it's super slick. Uh, so there shouldn't be really any slippage needed. And the fee you'll see is going to be um, almost comical as far as what they charge. So here I'm taking, I'm getting about $4.35 of Ethereum and I'm sending to Matic and check out these gas fees, folks. Check this out. It's incredible. Um, so I'm getting... Here it says my estimated gas fee is 0.02 Matic. I'll show you the dollar equivalent of that in a second. Click and confirm. And then from here, the transaction submitted, I'm gonna click on view on block explorer. This is polygon scan again. All right. And now I'm gonna wait for the transaction to complete. And here you go. I got the wrapped Ethereum converted to Matic for five Matic. And you can see here the transaction fee was a penny. Wow, okay. Well, there you go, folks. That was the tutorial. We now have Maddox sitting in our wallet. You can see here, I go back to MetaMask. Um, I've now got 7.98. The reason why I have that is because I've already imported the contract. But again, same premise about adding a co token. If you don't have it already in there, you should. If you don't, you go ahead to the bottom here. This is the five Maddox you received. You're going to click on this, Maddox. Okay. And then again, profile summary at the top right. Here's the contract. Click copy address. And again, same thing, going to MetaMask, import token. Here, let's go back through. Back to assets, back at the bottom, import tokens. But when you add the Polygon, Matic should just automatically show. But if it doesn't, that's how you do it, okay? That's what I had today for you guys, folks. I hope you all enjoy that. Do me a favor, hit the like button down below if you like what you heard today. And subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when new content comes out from PJ Crypto. All right, everybody have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the moon.